what is mental health? Mental health is the subjective well-being, perceived self-efficacy, autonomy, competence, intergenerational dependence, and self-actualization of one intellectual and emotional potential, among others. Mental health and substance use disorders account for almost 8% of the global disease burden and make up the greatest economic cost of non-communicable diseases in low and middle income countries. Access to treatment, lack of funding, skill shortages, and stigma continue to be the barriers to tackling the issue worldwide. Do you know? One in five young people aged 13 to 18 years old has or will develop a mental illness in their lifetime. Youth depression rates have risen from 5.9% to 8.2% since 2012. Depression symptoms can impact performance in school and interfere with personal relationships. Mental illness can affect people of any age, race, religion, or income. Mental illness is a medical condition that disrupts a person's thinking, feeling, mood, and ability to relate to others and daily functioning. Due to the rising of people with mental health disorders, the government made a global initiative for mental health. But first, what is a global initiative? Global Initiative is the programs and projects which help to address global health issues, concerns, and trends. Today, we were talking about Global Initiative for Mental Health. In May 2013, the 68th WH Assembly adopted the Comprehensive Mental Health Action Plan for 2013-2020. Comprehensive Mental Health Action Plan for 2013-2020 is the result of extensive research and consultation by stakeholders, number nations, academic and non-government centers across the globe. It should be impartial, life-based, and preventive. services and care accessible. To prevent abuse of rights and unjust treatment against people with mental health problems, disorders, and disabilities which are still prevalent around the world. Now let's talk about the vision of this action plan. In a world which mental health is valued, promoted, and protected, Mental health disorders are prevented and individuals affected by these disorders can exercise the full range of human rights and access high quality, culturally appropriate health and social care in a timely way to promote recovery, or to attain the highest possible of health participating fully in society and at work free from stigmatization and discrimination. There are four objectives in this action plan. First, strengthen effective leadership and governance for mental health. Second, provide comprehensive, integrated, and responsive mental health and social care services in community-based settings. Third, implement strategies for promotion and prevention in mental health. Lastly, strengthen information systems, evidence, and research for mental health. This action plan was extended to 2030 at the 72nd WH 